Manning up is something that it, it seems to be a short supply here lately. Uh, the, our government has come to uh, become a nanny state. They seem to want to tell you what to do. Take the responsibility from the man. Take it away from him. Uh, they're there. When the man loses his job, well, they'll give him some unemployment. Uh, you know what I mean? They want to give him everything that he needs. Uh, the, the need for a man or uh, the man to stand up like a man is getting less because people think that the government should play that role. Now, when you're being a man, it calls for self-reliance. And that is something that is in very short supply nowadays. But you do need to take responsibility for yourself first. Then take responsibility for your wife. And then uh, responsibility for your family. Uh, I realize this family, uh, family issues is something that, that uh, nobody likes to talk about. Uh, if for some reason... Uh, there's one of these things where I don't want to get involved or uh, you know this equal rights uh, The man won't be a man because he's got to look look to his wife and say well, what do you think? Honey? That's because he's too damn pussy to take responsibility for his own judgment He uses his wife to gain the support that he needs to make a good decision but when the bad decision is made then he'll go to her and say, well, you said to do this. I mean, there's, that's a prime example of not manning up. Uh, and that's one thing that's down, uh, making a downfall of our country. And it started, I'll tell you, this all started with the blacks. The blacks uh, would give up their manhood by allowing the state to give them welfare, to, well, you owe me, my ancestors were a slave. And these are the kind, that kind of attitude is what they don't have to make the response, they don't have to take the responsibility. They can say, well, this was dumped on me. Okay, that, that attitude is what brought down the downfall of the, the African people. They used to have a good, strong family values, and they lost it. No different than what's going on now throughout the United States. I mean, people have just lost their family values. They, they, what, can the, what can the government do for me? That's the problem I had when my wife had the stroke. I mean, everything was, well, the government, they have programs that will take care of you. They'll do this, they'll do that. And, and I say, we're on Social Security, or we should, we should be accepting a check, but we don't even take the check. But all of this is their, the government's way of putting their foot in the door and telling you what to do. When you take money from the government, right there, you just said, I don't want to man up to the problem. I want the easy way out because I'm a chicken shit and I don't want to take the responsibilities. And that's you making that choice when you accept that money from the government. Or uh, if you're a, uh, a bureaucrat, uh, you're working for the government. Well, it's my job. But no, you're, that job uh, uh, makes other people make, makes other people's lives bad. It makes it hard uh, because it's your regulations. That's why you have a job. It's something to do with regulations. All government jobs have something to do with some kind of regulation, making the people do something. You are involved in that chain some way or another when you do that. And you're thinking, well, I am above the other people. I don't have the same retirement. I don't have the same nothing. I've got a guaranteed job, guaranteed money when I get out of this mess. And you're not going to do anything to upset the, your job security. And that right there is the, is the same like uh, union workers have the same type of attitude. They are above everyone else. And this is not right. And this is what's happening to our country right now. It's uh, all the men. I'm going to start with the men. They're not manning up to what they should be doing. They're a bunch of damn pussies. They're, they're, just, they're so worried about their damn security and their safety that they choose not to make choices 
that are important. Instead of that, they either let their woman or they let the government make these decisions for them. Don't, don't be like that. Stand up, act like a man. You're going to make mistakes, but that's just part of being a man. And there's times when a man has to stand up with other men. Because being a man isn't that easy. And sometimes it takes other men to stand up with you to be a man. And women, don't think that you're out of this mess. Because there's times a woman has to man up too. And there's many times you have to man up when you have to back up your man. And I don't mean back, up, back him up when he's doing stupid things. When he's doing stupid things, you are not giving him the proper support. Otherwise, he would be able to see that he's doing stupid. So it's your fault too. So man up and take care of your family and take care of yourself like you're supposed to. Women, if your man continually making mistakes, then uh, he's not following your uh, uh, support, your, your, uh, your guidance. Uh, you need to look for a reason or I mean a way to express yourself that it makes it easier for him to understand. And I don't mean by using intimidation. You need to be able to communicate with him some way or another. Find out how to communicate with him to let him know that he's the one that's responsible and he's the one that's making these decisions. You will back him up. You will back him up on whatever the decisions he makes, but he needs to make wise decisions. And it's, but before the man can do that, he needs to have the faith knowing that his woman stands behind him. And this way it makes it easier to make these decisions. Not that I won't make a decision and then she's going to be bitching and bitching and bitching on my ass all the time. She never forgets and all this kind of crap. That's not the kind of, the, not the kind of guidance that he needs. You need to be able to figure out how to communicate with him, how to get the point across and uh, let him make these decisions. And you need to back him up on that thing. If he refuses to take the responsibility, he refuses to man up, then you have a problem. You just married a pussy. You married someone that's irresponsible and uh, I feel for you. Uh, he's been, he's already sold his soul and uh, he's not taking responsibility. He's not manning up like he should be. So do the best you can and uh, let him know that you're going to be there for him. That's the best, the best kind of support you can give him. Uh, my wife, we've been married over 40 years. And uh, she always, she never could understand how come I made so many mistakes. And I made lots of mistakes. I'm not saying I didn't. I made a lot of mistakes. But they weren't the same mistake over and over again. I was new mistakes because I wasn't scared to take a challenge, to do something. It didn't bother me because I knew she would support me. And, uh, but like I say, I never made the same mistake twice. And you get smarter. As you get older, you get wiser, you make less mistakes. But it takes uh, a good woman standing behind the man to make this happen.